Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading now for the week of March 12th through the 18th. Now this is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. We are going to get one oracle card and then we are going to break into the tarot deck. Alright? Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. You may be feeling lonely. Please bear with me as I shuffle. I think it's really important to shuffle on the screen. I just do. I feel like it's better to be authentic than to save time. Well, there's a lack of excitement and love, okay? There's some sort of lack of, perhaps there's a lack of romance in your life at this time. Maybe you're not focusing on it at this time. You know, it feels like maybe, maybe you're feeling withdrawn, you know? But maybe you're feeling withdrawn like you don't have much to offer right now. Jeez, some crow, they're just a flying out, aren't they? Yeah, it just feels as though right now maybe you're focusing on your job, you're focusing on your, your finances, and building yourself back up. Maybe you've, you've had some sort of uh, downfall and you're trying to uh, start over again, okay? It feels as though right now you're not really concentrating on love okay I it feels like you're not looking for any new opportunities anyway at this point at this point of time anyway um, you may be just feeling kind of uneasy okay you may be feeling uneasy um, maybe you're just completing a chapter in your life and you're stepping onto a new path you know, so you may be just withdrawn, working on yourself right now. There's a lack of wanting to be together or to work together with people. It's like, I don't even think I want to work with anybody right now. I just, I'm trying to get myself right. You know, I think that you are, um, you're procrastinating. You're at, you've reached a time, a period in your life where things are kind of, you know, you've reached like a stalemate. You've reached a slow period, you know, where maybe you're, you are just concentrating on your own stability at this time. You're just working on yourself. You're in your own ele element and you're liking it, you know. Yeah, it's a little bit lonely, but it's stable and secure, right? You know, right now I'm feeling pretty unstable, secure, insecure with myself, you know, and I need to get, and if I don't, I need to really get there before I can offer love to anybody. So, or be able to feel all lovey-dovey, you know. Maybe you're just not feeling all lovey-dovey this week because you're working on your career. You're working on your finances. You're working on other things. Other things are at the top of the list this week. I mean, that's what it looks like. But let me get this zoomed in. Many of you are, are, are releasing something, and it's emotional. Okay, you may be holding in something that is hurting you emotionally and you're working on releasing it. So as you are releasing this hurt, it looks like there's some kind of hurt in there. It's like you might just want to be alone. It's like, you know, I just I just think I want to be alone. I don't really want to talk about it right now. 
I'm not ready. I'm not ready right now. Yeah, I need to accept whatever this is and work it out on my own. So if you could just respect me with that, that'd be great. You know, it just feels like you're not um, wanting growth, relationship growth at this very moment. doesn't mean you aren't going to want it in the future or that you don't want to be in a relationship. It just means that this this week you're not really focused on it. It's not the top of the list. I'm not going to go buy you flowers and romance you this week because I got other things on my mind. You know, it feels like you um, are moving very quickly, you know, in regards to your own stability, building your foundation. That's what you're working on. You're working on your, your own foundation, your own stable, you know, work, bank account, something like that. You're working on yourself. That's what's going on here. Yeah, because something hasn't been progressing. Something hasn't been progressing the way you like. So it's time for you to take action. It's like, I, I need to have some progress here. And it's time to get real. You need, it's like a reality check. It's like, I need to get real. Something is, it hasn't been happening and it's time for me to take action. And that's what's happening. It's like, I need to, I need, this is, it's a dose of reality here. It's time for me to work on my, my own security and my own stability. Okay. It's time for me to, um, Probably you need to make some compromises. You know, maybe you're making some compromises and, and maybe love is one of them. You know, and that's not, that. it's not that you're not in love, okay? It's not that you don't want love. It's just not at the top of the list. Right now, you're working on building up your skills so that you can have the firm foundation that you so much desire. It feels like, you may feel like you've been robbed or cheated. Like, you know, you may feel like, you know, something is coming out you know there's some some kind of truth which makes you accept reality maybe you were cheated maybe somebody stole for you from you and you they've gotten caught maybe you have uh there's been some deceit and you now you've caught them okay it feels like something has come about that has opened your eyes and you gotta fix this you need to fix it you know and it feels like something has happened something has happened that so you may have received some sort of communication about yeah something unexpected you've received some unexpected communication or news could be of a pregnancy could be of a new child could be of something you've uh, uh, maybe it's even a new love and you need to get yourself ready for this maybe you you there's some new thing that you have been made aware of that now you have to get ready for. And it feels like you've been, th you have a lot of doubt. You have a lot of doubt and so you're trying to get ready. What are you getting ready for Capricorn? It's like, yeah, you need to be alone right now because you're coming up with a plan about your future and you're working on your future foundation. This is what it looks like to me. So you, you're, you're trying to replace the doubt. You're taking action to make sure that everything is taken care of. This is what's happening. You guys are building something. You're building something. Even though other people might not see it that way. It feels as though you are trying to ground yourself to a spot of security and stability. Because of the doubt that you're harboring on, on the inside over this newfound message or communication or something lost did you lose something and it's like you've been reluctant to see a new approach you've been reluctant to move forward and maybe this is the week where you finally decide i have to get going I have to get going. I can't just sit here and wait for nothing to happen. I got to take action here in regards to my own security and my own stability. 
So that's what I'm focusing on this re week. I'm no longer sitting back waiting for nothing to happen. No. Yeah, it looks like there's a lack of wish fulfillment here. There's also a lack of awareness where you were taking, I think you were taking time off. It was like being like, ah, wait for the right time. It's just not time yet. It's not time yet. I'll get to it. Yeah, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. And boom. Time is now. Yep. I got to work on this right now because I have to. Yeah, it's like you're making, you're, you've are you got to move. It's like something, I think there's been some sort of wake-up call, whether it was a loss or a new beginning. could be either one. You've had some sort of awakening that has put opened up your eyes, and now you have to take action. You do. Now you have to do something about it. What is it? Wow. Something is happening that is very intense, and I think that you may be feeling threatened by it. Maybe you're feeling threatened by whatever this is, and it just seems like it's happening too fast, too fast for you. Something has happened, and it's happening too fast, and, and now it might, you know, you need to work on this so that it doesn't, doesn't fall apart. I gotta, I gotta get moving. I can't sit back and watch anymore. I gotta do something about this. I gotta prevent something. I gotta, I gotta make it stable. You know, something like that. It's like you guys have to take action. You have to use your, your intellect and your intelligence to mitigate whatever this is. It's like I have to get moving. <laughs> Because, I, like I said, I think you feel threatened from something. It's like I feel like there's some kind of something that is making you unhappy or had made you unhappy. Something has fallen apart with the Ten of Cups reversed. Or it has the potential to fall apart if you don't take action. And now it's time. It's, it's like a time for a new beginning with a death card and the world card. It's like, yeah, I need to get moving. It's, I've learned something big here that I really have to work hard for whatever I want, and now I have to get moving. So I feel like you guys are having a new outlook. You're deciding to, or it's, you've come, something has happened that has really given you some sort of reality check and opened your eyes, and now you're looking at things from a new perspective, and it's like you're on, uh, what's that word? You're like hit the road running, you know, because you need stability and security. It's like, boom, shit. Somebody lit, a, lit, the, lit the flame under your ass and you are in full-blown uh, get my ass in gear mode. And, you know, and it feels like you've learned something big by this procrastination, that this is procrastination. You've learned something really big and now it's, and now it's time, you know, this is what where procrastination got me, whatever. Now it's time for me to get moving and... Um, be successful yeah I think you guys are look at this the world with the fool you're ending something and beginning something else something is ending and you are beginning something else maybe there's an old relationship that's ending and this can be in several different areas it appears that something is ending and forcing you to do something else and maybe you know with this fool card you're ready for it anyway this is a new journey it's a new beginning it's like starting over and this is what's happened here i feel like something has some lesson has been learned and now you're starting over again you're starting from the ground up because something has something has died something has ended something has ended And now it's time for you to restore your security. There was a period, there was some insecurities here. And now it's time to restore the security. It's time to have faith. There's a lack of faith. This is a lack of faith. This is faithlessness, this is discouragement. You were went through a period of discouragement where you probably sat back and watched things fall apart. And now you've come to the point where, damn, now I have to, now I gotta start over again. So it's like, yeah, I think you guys are starting over again. Looking at things from a new perspective, being objective and taking the lead. And there you are. That's the devil card. It's like you guys are taking control of this situation.
But I think you're doing it. Look at that. King and Queen of Swords. You guys are doing it be out of love, okay? The thing is, is I think you're doing it because, you know, this is a love reading. You're doing whatever you have to do for a soulmate, okay? Because this is a soulmate connection. doesn't matter what the signs are. There's a soulmate connection here. And I feel as though there's been some sort of awakening, a wake-up call that has come into your life, a reality, some sort of reality that has come into your life after a period of stalling, procrastinating, not getting on the stick. Now it's time to get on the stick because you, you're ready for this. You want this soulmate. But right now you have to build your foundation up so that you're ready for this soulmate. You have to get secure. You have to get stable. You have to do the work. And so right now there may be a period of loneliness, but it isn't, it's not in vain because this loneliness is building you up to where you need to be for your soulmate. That's what I see. I see that you guys are, are completing a chapter in your life as well with the world card and the death card. You're, something is ending. And the ten of, we had the ten of cups there. Not, something is ending. Whether it's a relationship, it's whatever it is. Whatever it is. Something is ending which really opens your eyes to a new beginning. Okay? That's what's happening here. And I think this is, you know, it's, it's when something ends, it can be quite a shock. And I think this whatever happens is quite shocking. Okay, again, it may be quite a shock because I think it happens very quickly. Okay, because we have a lot of fast moving energy here. I think something is going to end very quickly that gives you a dose of reality that um, pushes you to build something stronger. That's what I have. Talk to you later.